The Samsung Galaxy S21 is set to impress with the new custom AMD Radeon GPU. With the GPU besting the current industry leading option, I am Keno and this is Encore Tech. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future video. Last year, Samsung and AMD made a partnership that allowed Samsung to use AMD Radeon architecture in its custom GPU. But AMD said the GPU won't be ready until 2021. And that's next year, when Samsung is going to release the S21. Now, this move benefits both companies because AMD makes some of the best graphics processors and Samsung being able to use their Radeon architecture would mean significant gains in the performance of their flagship devices, while AMD benefits by being in the mobile industry, a place where it has had no presence since it sold the Adreno department to Qualcomm. Yes, AMD once owned the Adreno GPU that Qualcomm uses on its Snapdragon processors. So this partnership with Samsung is quite important for both companies. Now, according to some new information, the GPU is still on course to be used on the Galaxy S21. And AMD is in the process of optimizing the GPU, which will be integrated in the 5 nanometer Exynos 1000. According to reports, the GPU has been benchmarked and it beats the Adreno 650 found in the Snapdragon 865 by 13% in the Manhattan 3.1 test and in another test, the Aztec Normal and Aztec High. It beat the Adreno 650 by a factor of 3. That means it got 3 times the score of the Adreno 650. Now, that's impressive, to say the least. And considering how Samsung is working hard to improve its Exynos processors by eliminating the custom Mongo scores, adding this GPU would mean significant improvements in the performance of the Exynos version of Samsung's flagships, maybe even best in what Apple has to offer. But we would have to wait and see. This testing is still in the early stages, and these scores haven't been verified, so I would say take this with a grain of salt. In other S21 news, Samsung is planning to use China's BOE OLED display on one version of the Galaxy S21. Why? 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 I really don't know why they're making this move, because Samsung is the biggest OLED supplier in the world, and BOE is the biggest LCD supplier in the world, and they want to compete with Samsung in the OLED market. So why source OLED panels from one of your competitors? My guess is because of yield issues. Because sometime last year, Japan imposed some trade restrictions on South Korea. So the country has limited supply of some chemicals that are important to the production of OLED panels, and Japan is the only country with exportable amount of those chemicals. And since Japan is still in good relationship with China, it only makes sense to outsource some OLED panels from the best OLED maker in China. Why I don't think this move is to cut down costs is because even Chinese companies source OLED panels from Samsung. Huawei, Xiaomi, OnePlus, they all use Samsung's OLED panels. So, if Chinese companies with lower prices than Samsung devices come to Samsung for OLED panels, why would Samsung go to BOE just to cut down cost? Anyway, this trade restriction is going to hit Samsung pretty hard, because even Apple is expected to source OLED panels from BOE for the iPhone 12 series. I really hope they resolve this quickly and Samsung's market share in the OLED market doesn't fall significantly. Let me know what you think about the AMD GPU that is expected to debut on the Galaxy S21. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and if you want to get more tech-related news, then definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future video. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.